Hey folks, welcome back to Smoking Hads Skyrim playthrough. Um, as I explained in the last video, this is not live commentary because I lost my um <coughs> me. I lost my um game, like the audio commentary for this episode and the last episode. These will be the only two videos that won't be live commentary, the rest will be live commentary. All the videos up until this point have been live commentary. But yeah, just a silly mistake by my part, won't happen again. Anyway, I think in this one, I uh, I went quest. Uh, I was going to go questing. I did speak to Fendrail, I'll, I'll let him talk to you. What is that blowhard up to now? So... He thinks he can turn Camilla against me. Two can play at this. Here, give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. Let's see what she thinks of him after reading that. So yeah, he gives you a letter. I was going to take it to Camilla, but what I decided is I don't want the companion just now. I want to wait and get him after I've done... Uh, leveled up a bit and got a few... Um, quests. I really just wanted to clear out one dungeon without him first and then take him just to increase my gold so I can get him to do my archery. Um, I did look for a, as you can see, yeah, I looked for a quest but it was quite far away so I decided to just go to the closest mine and clear it out. So yeah, that's where I'm heading after I've decided that I'm not doing it. <laughs> Yep, as you can see, the one I was going to do is miles away. I'm just going to do the main quest to get to White Run first, and then do that quest. It will be quicker. I want to get Dragon Rising out of the way so I can get my random dragon encounters throughout the videos as well, make it a bit more exciting. But yeah, I just basically I'm just going up to the closest mine I could find and clearing it out just so you guys could get a little bit of um, fighting gameplay actual Skyrim gameplay rather than me just talking to NPC characters all the time. I know there's a lot of that at the start, but yeah, I just wanted to break it up a little bit, so yeah, just heading there just now. I've, I do apologise for um, it not being live commentary on this and the last video. Uh, just pure, absolute idi idiocy for myself. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. And I never had my headset plugged in, I'm sure I've said that about a million times now, but yeah. One thing I was explaining in the video as I was walking up here is, yeah, as you can see, there's always lots of ingredients by pathways. So if you want to go out ingredient hunting, uh, I did, um, I found some dead wolves, and then I got a big fright there, when that wolf hit me from behind, which I didn't see. But he went down quite easily. Take his pelt to make some leather later. And yeah, just head into this mine. I hate having to do not live commentary. It's far, far less boring, you know, not doing live commentary. Especially for the viewers as well, I think. Unless it's some sort of, you know, quick run video or not through a, through a playthrough. Not doing live commentary is a bit, it's a bit lazy to be honest because, um... Yeah, you want the reaction of a playthrough. Um, if you're doing a video on, like, you're editing it and you're just showing parts of a game, parts of bits of what you're doing, then yeah, totally acceptable not to have live commentary, but on the parts that are where you are just playing through, live commentary is better, I think, anyway. But yeah, just wanted to get my sneak up, sneak through this dungeon, and just clear it out. So here we go. Ah, I bet y'all thought I was going to walk over that wire there. <laughs> no such luck, I'm afraid. I did notice it before I threw. I have obviously a character level 44 or before, so I have been in some of these mines, but I, they're all quite s similar, some of them, that I didn't remember everything. I do remember this dungeon quite well, though, because I, uh, I watched somebody else do a Let's Play in this dungeon. Then I cleared it out myself, and now I'm back in it again, so it's my like, third time. There's a nice failed arrow there. Yeah, just 
using the hole to try and get that out, turning up. And then I'm gonna mash them up with the mace. Make that so. And that is. Burn, baby, burn. Just go and burn. Oh. Yeah, just. I like to just check through the bodies. I'll always pick up items that are better than the ones I have. If not, I'll just leave them. Not much of a hoarder unless there's something really expensive to sell for gold. Don't know why I went through his again. Yeah, a bit of healing. I want to get my restoration up. Something I'm going to use some perks for. I'll make a quick scan about to see if there's anybody here. And going down here to see if there's anything. I did, yep. Got a pickaxe here. Can be used for mining items. Mining raw materials inside mines, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Flames back on to burn those bitches up. Just a quick scan. I like to make sure I've got everything useful in an area before I move on. Brought down this bridge. Now, I really did something stupid there. Enemies come across that bridge and you can really stay up on there to just snipe them, which I didn't. I ran down and forgot, so I had to end up taking them out. The old fashioned way. Another toasty fellow there. Yeah, so just scanning for nice items. Got a nice steel mace there I picked up, which I am going to equip because it is better than the mace I have at the moment. Yep. I did just record this and then played back the audio. I'm quite glad I caught it now. So this video is really fresh in my memory, so I know what's coming up, what to expect, how to commentate on it. Makes it a bit easier rather than watching back and trying to remember what I did. Just doing a bit of sneak here, trying to get my sneak up. Yeah, so just stealing some items through the window. Not really stealing, because then it's bandits. Pretty sure I did another silly thing here. Didn't even realise there was an enemy right there. And yeah, came right up on me. Wasn't expecting it. We got an arrow to the neck, not to the knee. And then maced in the face. Nice little animation finish there. I was saying, you know, obviously, I said in the in the commentary for this playthrough as well. I wish I hadn't picked up the key, so I could have just um, lock picked some of the doors to get some skit like my level up. But yeah, never mind. Taking items, taking some two-handed weapons there, but I don't intend to use them. I'm not going to use a two-handed weapon. I want to get my one-handed up so I can use magic in the other hand. Yeah, quick scan, we have everything here. I think I, I thought there was a pathway here, which clearly, obviously, there wasn't. So, <laughs> down the other way we go. Again, I think I want to go into sneak mode here. Get my bow out. And snipe these mofos. Gentleman down there, about to get an arrow to the back. Nice level up there. Epic fail. And boom. <laughs> Taken out in mid stride. Again, always take the lock picks and the keys I'm getting fired upon here, so we will return fire. There we go. And another. I don't know why I got a sneak bonus there, because I I didn't think I was sneaking that on that person. But anyway, looks like I'm detected. But anyway, yeah. Finish this gentleman off the old fashioned way again. Oh, nice little animation finish there again. Take the only two things I usually take from an inventory, unless there's better items. Look, not much. And uh, down here to pilfer some items. I forgot about the workbench here. 
pick up these iron ingots. And a skill book over here as well, I'm sure. That will increase your smithing for you. As you can see, the value is quite high. But I don't take the book. A nice level up. I think I kept this level just in case. Um, if anybody's not aware, if you are leveled up and you are ready to level up, if you keep a hold of it, um, when you do level up, it basically restores your health. So if you're in a difficult area and you level up, yeah, quickly level up and it will restore your health for you. And uh, yeah, I think I was just messing about here. I think I'm yeah going back to me I, I, again. I don't know why, but I, I, I thought for some reason that that door I opened earlier had a pathway that I'd missed, but it never. So my bad. But yeah, that is that dungeon. Uh, what? I, yeah, no, sorry. What I did here was um, just wrapped up wrap up the video here basically. Um. No point, there was no point in me going all the way, I wasn't going to have enough time to go all the way through the dungeons, I didn't want to get three quarters of the way and then have to stop recording right at the end, so yeah, I think I was about halfway through, I, th I thought anyway, I still think I'm about to record the second video just now, but yeah, just wrapping up here basically, and uh, I think I just go up to this bridge here, make sure there's no items take a hunting bow which had better stuff than my last one so yeah just wrapping it up here ending the video and just we'll come back straight here and um, as always if you are liking the videos please do subscribe i would really appreciate that and yeah we'll catch you on the next episode and as always goodbye